Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love mixed martial arts, the UFC, as much as I do. Now, speaking of fights, man, I have not given a fight prediction on here in a good while. I mean, no, I take that back a week ago. I talked about Kevin Holland fighting Stephen Thompson, but y'all know what I mean. It's been a while since I talked about a big, big man event as far as pay-per-view numbers go. This is the Nate Diaz and Tony Ferguson fight. Here we go. Israel Adesanya is going to fight Alex Pereira in December. Okay. Uh, technically, this is a one because it's MMA, but overall, they have fought twice already with Pereira knocking him out in the second fight and getting a decision in the first fight. So, this is going to be a very entertaining fight. I'm very interested to see how Adesanya approaches the fight. But this is how I see it going. Um, I think Pereira is going to be overly aggressive. He's going to swing a lot and miss. And then... Adesanya is not going to be as patient in this fight. Remember, in the back of his head, not that he's worried about getting knocked out before. He can get get knocked out again. But I think he's thinking, man, this guy has embarrassed me before. People are still making fun of me and showing pictures of me and getting laid out by this dude. I think Pereira is going to swing a lot with some big haymakers early. And he's going to miss them all. And in the middle of him missing a big shot, that's going to leave his chin up in the air or his chin turned or where he's exposed enough for Adesanya to crack him with a big punch of his own. He'll land it. He'll drop Pereira. And uh, instead of finishing it with strikes, this is the part where I'm talking about he might use his grappling a little bit. I don't think he's going to take uh, Pereira down. Pereira's too big to try to wrestle with. What I think he'll do is, again, let Pereira waste his gas tank standing up or leave himself exposed to getting hit himself. Big haymaker, a big head kick. He'll put uh, Pereira down. And from there, it's either going to be a first-round TKO with strikes like he did with Costa. Or he might go for a guillotine or a rear naked choke and show the world, hey, I can grapple too and submit, guys. So why not do that, you know? So either way, it's either, either outcome is most likely, you know? Um, I know record-wise, if you look to go, if you do the math, Adesanya has never had a submission win. It's always the first time for every, anything, you know, especially against a guy who's only had seven fights in MMA. Um, but, again, he's been knocked out, so he wants to get a knockout over Pereira. So, first round, TKO, KO, or submission. This fight is not going to distance. Pereira can win the fight, but I don't think he's going to. I got the style bender. Shout out to Israel Adesanya right now, the smartest fighter in the world. He gets it done in round one, and still.